starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. fly right, Lassie. This is the second time it's crashed. killed our cat. She did not. She did so. Lassie'd never do anything like that. Look, I saw her do it. She killed Skipper, and I'm gonna get her for it. You just leave Lassie alone. Says who? Says me. You think you're big enough to stop me? Well, I'm big enough to try. <laughs> well, you better keep an eye on her. Keep her away from our barn. <laughs> Did he hurt you, girl? Boy, he sure was mad. Say, were you over at his place? I didn't think you were. Come on, let's go get the plane. We gotta fix this wing. Come on, girl. Well, it appears the flight wasn't too successful, eh? Well, it didn't fly right. Well, I have to fix the wing. Well, never mind. Maybe your dad can give you a hand with it after supper. Meantime, uh, help me with these groceries, will you? Okay. Mm, that smells good, honey. Timmy, we're waiting. I'm all ready, Mom. All right, dear. Paul, I met a Mrs. Gardner in the hardware store today. They're the family that bought the old Sherman farm. Seems like a very pleasant woman. <laughs> oh, Timmy, they have a boy about um, a little older than you. You ought to invite him over sometime. Anyway, she said that something got into their chicken house the other night, killed two of their best laying hens, and scared the others nearly half to death. It's probably a raccoon. You know, lots of them around. Sam Burke caught one in his hen house the other night. Well, she seemed to think it was a dog. Well, I thought only foxes and wolves went after chickens. Maybe coyotes. Well, no, Timmy. A lot of other animals will, including some dogs. But I don't know anybody around here who's got a dog that would kill chickens. Ah! <laughs> 
She can't be far. Come on, dear. Well, you can look for her after breakfast, dear. But I'm worried, Mom. What's troubling you, son? We can't find Lassie. Oh? Well, do you suppose something happened to her? Well, no, I don't think so. She was in my room when I woke up this morning. Oh? Yes, this. This is Paul Martin. be some mistake. I see. Yes, yes, we will. Well, who was it, Paul? Well, that was Mr. Gardner calling. He said he caught Lassie last night chasing a sheep. Lassie chasing sheep? Yeah, he said he scared her off with his rifle. But if he catches her again, he won't be responsible for what happens. been hurt. Bad? Well, I can't tell till we get her cleaned up to me. My, you are a mess. Oh, Lassie, you just stay here. You'll be all right. Think we ought to call the vet? I don't think we need to. It doesn't look too serious. We don't call the doctor every time you get a cut or a bruise. Just let her rest a while. She'll be all right. What is it? Something terrible. Come on. Well, it probably happened last night. Dad, look at those tracks out there. It, it was a wolf, wasn't it, Dad? No, it was a dog to me. Are you sure? It was a dog. Let's see if we can save it. Hello, Ruth. Timmy. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Sheriff. Well, what happened to Lassie? Oh, um, she just cut her leg, that's all. Nothing serious. You say this is a business call, Sheriff? Well, it isn't a pleasant duty. I've had some complaints about Lassie, serious complaints. Your neighbor, Gardner, says that she killed some chickens and a cat. Oh, yes, he, he telephoned this morning. But how did he know it was Lassie? Well, he claims his son saw Lassie kill their cat yesterday. They must be mistaken. Lassie'd never do anything like that. In addition to that, old man Anderson says he saw Lassie last night chasing some sheep. And this morning he found a lamb dead and two missing. Lassie didn't do it, I tell you. Well, I couldn't believe it either, Timmy. But they said it was a collie, a 
And Lassie's the only collie in these parts. So according to law, an animal that's a menace to persons, property, or livestock either has to be locked up or disposed of. I haven't much choice. You'd better pen her up, Paul, and don't let her out. I'm sorry, Timmy. I better be on my way. You'll take care of them? Okay, Sheriff. Bye. Go on in, girl. I'm sorry, girl. Close the door to me. there. And Lassie's gone, too. You mean he let her out? Oh, she went through a window. What? Oh, no. But where, where could they go? Hi, Sheriff. Paul? Ruth? Any news? Sheriff? Well, I did some checking after I left here yesterday. The Loganville Sheriff called me back this morning. They had a collie over there that went berserk, was in an auto accident, got a head injury, and he turned real wild and mean. Gave the farmers a lot of trouble with their livestock. But uh, nobody's seen it for a while. So I figured maybe that's the collie that's doing the damage around here, and not Lassie. So I thought I'd drop over and tell Timmy so he wouldn't have to keep Lassie penned up anymore. Well, Timmy's gone. And Lassie, too. What? Yeah, she broke out of the window. Where'd they go? I don't know. Well, I wouldn't want the kid to tangle with that dog. You better get in, we'll have a look around.
closer. Stay there! Stay there. Nice fella. Stay there, nice doggy. Son? Well, I sure was scared for a minute until Lassie came. You uh, had your mother and me pretty scared, too. I'm sorry, Dad, but I just had to find Lassie. I didn't know if she'd run away or... Well, I just had to find out. Lassie, are you all right, girl? You know, you came just in time. There are some neighbors owe you an apology, Lassie. I knew Lassie couldn't have done it. That's the dog we're looking for, all right. I'd better check on him. Well, let's go home, son. Your mother's waiting for us. Come on, girl. Mom, you should have seen that dog. He looked almost like Lassie. But boy, was he mean. Well, some animals get that way, Timmy. Just like people, especially if they've been hurt badly. Poor dog. Hello? Oh, yes, Sheriff. He was? I see. Well, Sheriff, what's going to happen to him? Fine, fine. I know Timmy will be glad to hear that. Thanks for letting us know. Well, they caught the dog. What are they going to do to him? Well, the vet says it was proper care and a good home, he'll be all right. And the sheriff's going to try to find a family to take him. Isn't that swell, Dad? Did you hear that, girl? <laughs> 